The first step in creating the carousel effect is to rotoscope your subject on your phone. If you're not familiar with how to rotoscope, don't worry, I've got you covered. The link to a tutorial is in the description below where you will learn how to rotoscope in under 60 seconds. Next, duplicate your clip by pressing Ctrl plus D. Make sure your viewing resolution is set to full. Then select the Rotobrush tool and double click on your duplicated clip to start rotoscoping your subject. If your computer struggles with After Effects, here's a trick to make things smoother. After you're done rotoscoping, render your mask as a separate file. Then, import that rendered file back into After Effects and replace the original clip on your timeline with the rendered version. This keeps your workflow efficient without stressing your system. Once you've finished rotoscoping, render your mask in QuickTime animation format. Make sure to set the channels to RGB plus alpha, so when you import it back into After Effects, it comes in without a background. Now let's set up our phone screen composition. Create a new comp with a 1080 by 1920 resolution. This vertical format is perfect for creating the phone screens we'll be using in our carousel effect. Next, double click on the rounded square shape tool. This will automatically add the shape to your timeline, perfectly sized and ready for customization. Now drag and drop the video you want to appear on the screen into your composition. I just adjust the time with time remap to make the videos fit the comp. To do that, you hit Ctrl plus ALT plus T. After that, create a new black fill square shape and double click on it to add it to the timeline. Next, go to the toggle switches, share modes and set the track mat of your video to the black square shape. This will make sure your video fits perfectly within the screen. Once you've finished your first phone screen, duplicate the comp by pressing Ctrl plus D, then click into the new comp, select the video on the timeline, scroll to the video you want to replace it with, hold ALT and drag it onto your timeline. This will replace the video without needing to redo all the steps with the shape layers. Now let's create a new comp for a layout for all of our screens. Follow my settings for the comp size. If you have 8 screens, set it to 8000 by 1080. If you have 6 screens, set it to 6000 by 1080. This rule of thumb ensures that each screen fits perfectly side by side in your composition. Next, drag all the phone screen comps you just created onto this new layout comp. Use the align tool to make sure they're all perfectly centered. Just follow along. It's super easy. Once we have everything aligned, we'll turn this into a 3D animation.
Now select all the screen layers and click the 3D box to enable 3D for each one. Follow along with what I do to ensure a smooth animation. Pay close attention to my graph. Graphs are crucial for achieving smoothness in animations. Let's make this look seamless. Now let's bring it all together in the main comp where we started with the guy on his phone to showcase what he could be looking at on his phone with a cool, unique animation. This will make the final result stand out and capture attention. Drag the screen layout comp we just worked on and place it on the timeline between the main clip and the mask clip. Make sure to adjust the scaling of the layout comp by pressing S on your keyboard. Then adjust the size of the layout comp to fit perfectly within your main comp. Now add the CC cylinder effect to your phone screen comp. See how our animation starts to high on this comp? Just simply adjust it at the beginning by pressing P on your keyboard and dragging it down so it looks like it pops up out of nowhere. Since our main clip with the guy on the phone has movement, we'll need to use track motion with the tracker tool. Pick a point to track and hit play to track. Once done, make a null with control plus Shift, plus Alt, plus Y. Then go to Edit Target on the tracker and select the null. Now link the phone screen comp to the null so it follows the targeting we just did. I did the link wrong. The first attempt, I don't know what I was thinking. Stuck in 
Let's add some rotation to our carousel. Follow my lead here. After setting the rotation, duplicate the carousel layer and change the blend mode of the front part to screen so you can see the guy in the background. This adds depth to the scene. Make sure to follow my CC cylinder settings for the render part. The outside settings will show the front part and the inside settings will display the back part of the carousel. Just pay close attention to get it right. Make sure to move the outside carousel part on the timeline. Above your mass subject. Let's add some extra flair to the carousel. Apply the glow effect to the front part and adjust the settings to your liking. This will give the carousel a dynamic, eye-catching look. Play around with the intensity and radius until you achieve the perfect glow for your animation. To make our carousel and subject stand out even more, I'll add a little exposure effect to the background. Next, I'll apply color correction to our mass subject. I'll also add some noise to the background to enhance the overall look. Pay close attention when I mask out the subject's arm. It helps create a hologram effect as the carousel moves through his arm. You can decide if you want to add this effect, but we're almost done. Just watch the extra touches I add for that final sauce.
Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Adobe After Effects tutorials. Your support means a lot and helps us create more great content. Thanks for watching. Now here is the final outcome of the custom motion graphic we just made using the carousel effect.